Here's another look at the Dynamic Procedures feature in ForeFlight. This new way to display information about instrument approaches is another step away from traditional charts toward a data-driven, interactive depiction of the information you need to set up, brief, and fly IFR procedures. In this video, you'll see Dynamic Procedures in action as I fly an RNAV GPS approach at Kelso, Washington in my Advanced Aviation Training Device, a simulation of a Cessna 172S manufactured by 1G, a company based in Seattle. 1G produces several types of AATDs that represent a range of aircraft types and avionics platforms. My AATD, which is approved through the process described in AC61 136B, includes dual Garmin G5 displays complemented by traditional primary instruments and emulations of a Garmin GTN 650 and a King KFC 150 autopilot flight director. This simulated approach is at Kelso, Washington which lies about halfway between Seattle and Portland, where the Columbia River makes its final westward turn toward the Pacific coast at Astoria, Oregon. The RNAV GPS Runway 12 approach can be challenging. I began the procedure at Winlow and proceeded south via the charted transition to Yapek. After Yapek, you fly a series of short legs, including a 31 degree course change to fly the final approach at Uxail, then straight to the final approach fix at Angie. The profile view shows other hurdles, you must observe a series of altitude restrictions, and the glide path is 4 degrees, steeper than the typical 3 degree descent angle associated with ILS or LPV vertical guidance. This approach offers an LPV DA at 608 feet, about 588 feet above the runway. But note the visibility requirement of 1 and 3 quarter statute miles. If you fly to the 2D LNAV MDA of 980 feet, note that the VDP is 2.1 nautical miles from the threshold about one mile more than the one and one quarter statute mile visibility requirement. Now let's put four flight dynamic procedures to work. Here's the route from Boeing Field in Seattle to Kelso. We're cruising at 4,000 feet south of Olympia. The approach is loaded in the GTN. For ease of viewing, I'm showing it here in a GTN 750, not the 650. Time to add the RNAV GPS runway 12 approach to the flight plan in four flight. In the upper right corner of ForeFlight, touch Procedure and touch the name of the approach. Next, select the initial fix, transition, that you expect to fly, and then select your aircraft's approach category and the approach minimums, in this case, LPV. ForeFlight shows a sidebar with details for the approach briefing and also displays the approach chart overlaid on the map. My habit from decades of IFR flying is to have the approach chart visible throughout an approach. Until I gain more experience with dynamic charts, this is how I arrange the display for setup and briefing a procedure. Dynamic procedures includes a profile view to help you monitor your vertical path as you fly. To focus on the final approach segment, touch the approach button in the upper left. To declutter the display and embrace the chartless, data-driven model, hide the chart. You can still see all the fixes and procedure altitudes as you scroll down the sidebar to confirm the communication setup, review notes, and verify that the sequence of fixes in ForeFlight matches the list in the GPS in your panel. At the bottom, the sidebar includes expandable views of the runway environment and approach lighting. Now let's switch to the AATD and fly the approach to show dynamic procedures in action. As we fly, notice that the sequence of legs on the map and the sidebar stay synchronized. I should have scrolled the map and zoomed in to see the altitudes and legs more clearly, but I wanted to keep the sidebar visible as well because it shows the altitudes for each segment. Unlike the GTN 750XI in my Bonanza, the 650 in the sim doesn't show the segment altitudes. Here's a close-up view of the profile view, which shows your aircraft as you fly the segments of the procedure. I've intercepted the glide path near the final approach fix, and I'm starting down the final approach segment. Again, I probably should have zoomed in on the map a little bit to make it easier to see the fixes during this phase of the approach. 
I think a good operating practice when using dynamic procedures would be to confirm that the setup of the display is fixed before you reach the final approach fix. Mile final runway 1 2. Five hundred. And here's the view out the window as I transition to visual references for the low approach.